This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Nancy Holman with me. You are the principal at Duncan Jay School or Public School. Welcome to FYI, and welcome to your role as principal. You're fairly new at this. Awesome. Well, I'm new to, to Smith Falls. I've been a principal for many, many years. I arrived at Duncan Jay School or School in January after Tracy Staples, and I am in love with the school and in love with the community. I'm from, well, I married into Smith Falls, and I've been here for over 20 years. My kids went to school in Smith Falls, and I'm so proud. So where did you be a print where were you a principal before? I was at Thousand Islands Elementary School in Lansdowne, and before that, I've been a high school principal. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You've got quite the resume. <laughs> <laughs> kids K to 12, I think it's fantastic. Excellent. It's wonderful to see the journey of children from the start of school right until they're graduating. You know, and, and I have a principal, Ron Stewart. I, I'm still in touch with him. He was my principal in uh, from K to grade eight, actually. Yeah. Still in touch with him. Uh, he made such a, an impact on me, and it's just so nice to, to be able to have that, you know, the memories, the memories that they, so, that they made such an impact. So you are the principal at Duncan J Public School here in Smith Falls, yeah. and it is kindergarten to? Grade eight. To grade eight. We're okay. one of the few schools in our school board that does go to grade eight. Okay, okay. Now we're going to talk about a few things that are going on in the school, but uh, we want to talk right now about the, your nutri nutrition program. So important. Oh, I would love to talk about that. So we feed students every single day, and we all know the price of food has gone up for all of our families. Um, thanks to the care and dedication of our volunteers, we feed over 100 kids approximately every morning through our breakfast program. They come in and they have a hot breakfast. Sometimes it's egg wraps, sometimes it's egg McMuffin, not egg McMuffin, sometimes it's muffins, sometimes it's um, cereal. And our volunteers make and prepare and serve the food to our children every morning. We also have snack bins. And again, thanks to Nutrition for Kids and thanks to our volunteers, there's a snack bin in every single classroom. And when we get through the day, they're empty. And we're talking healthy foods that are in these snack bins. So food helps kids learn and helps kids focus and we rely upon the generosity of our community and the generosity of our volunteers and our donations in order to really feed our kids. Let's talk about you know when a child comes to school hungry if they didn't have that, oh my the goodness. difference it makes. Yeah, well we know how we feel when we're hungry. We get grumpy mm -hmm. and our ability to self-regulate, our, our patience runs a little thin. Well, if you're a little person and you're feeling hungry, you may not understand why you're feeling that you can't sit still or you can't focus and sometimes it comes through in some behaviors. So we find that we use food for a variety of strategies. We work with our students when they may be feeling a little down or they may need a little extra support. And I know that for my family, when we sit down together to eat, it provides that sense of comfort. So having nutrition readily available and having food readily available for our kids, I feel is so important. You know, we just uh, wrapped up our Build a Mountain of Food here in Smith Falls this past Saturday and uh, had a lot, lot of talks with Natalia Sodorov. She's the uh, executive director at the Food Bank. And we had so many discussions about, you know, families that go hungry. At the end of the yeah. month, they have to make a choice between rent, hydro, paying bills, yeah. putting food on the table. Yeah. So when you have a program like this that helps the children out, you know, it, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Now, you say volunteers put it together. Who are your volunteers? Oh, we have so many volunteers between our community. We have different church groups that come in and volunteers. Our parents come in and volunteer. We have an amazing school council that will come in and help with anything. Teachers, educational assistants, everybody pulls together and they come in and they have a schedule and they are arrive, you know, 8.15, 8.20 in the morning, get ready, and the smell that goes through the school is just beautiful. That's another thing that I find amazing about the breakfast program is when kids are seeing people prepare healthy healthy meals. And I mean, just the, you know, the knowledge that a child's going to come to school and know they're going to get something to eat, too. Yeah. They come through the yard and they usually run up and they're like, is it open? Is the breakfast program open? I said, yes, honey, come on in. You go right on in. And it's just, they come in, they grab their plate. You can see the joy when they run back out or they run up into the classroom. And it starts your day with a smile. Absolutely. Now, I know you weren't at Duncan J School when uh, um, COVID. What happened to breakfast programs during COVID? So I was there in January, mm -hmm. and so I experienced a little bit of the remote learning at Duncan J, mm -hmm. and as well as returning with all the restrictions. We did have the snack bins 
that those okay. continued again thanks to food for thought we did have those delivered to every classroom what i see different this year is the joy of children coming in our atrium and i mean we have the most beautiful environment coming yes. in sitting down at tables together all ages and eating you know and i really feel that that is a piece of our society that's important is that communal coming together I find that at Duncan Jay, as in Smith Falls, we are a close community and we care for each other and having that ability to come in in the morning and whether it's a hot breakfast or a cold breakfast, it's food together and it starts your day feeling good. And it's like you said earlier too, your family gets together and eats, so, so it's a, a family of children having breakfast before the day even starts. You know, I can imagine Absolutely. the conversations and everything going on in there too. Oh, there's a buzz yep. that happens. Yep. And it's a 10 minute window from 9.10 to 9.20. We have the, bre the, the breakfast program available. And then the nutrition bins, the kids come and the kids collect those nutrition bins and take them to class. And they love their role of doing that. And then all throughout the day, kids get hungry, you go to the bin, there's carrots, there's yogurt tubes, cheese strings. Kids love cheese strings. And they can munch on them throughout the day. So, I mean, you're talking about uh, cheese strings and, and nutritional items. You need donations. Oh, my goodness. I have seen it just since September, the draw up on the program. And when we get to a certain point in the week, we start seeing that the amount of food that we have in our fridges and our cupboards starts to get a little leaner. And then we have to look at how much we're serving to each child each morning. And when we see the lineup of children, sometimes you start going, okay, what's well, half an English muffin today mm -hmm. because of the volume. And we want to make sure that every child gets something. So, you know, when I think of the holiday season and I think of just schools in general, all throughout the year, you know, it, it takes our community to feed our kids and we would love and be honored if anybody would like to help support our nutrition program. And it's such a, a wonderful and important program. We all know what it feels like, like you say, to be hungry and we are adults and we try and, oh, you know, be responsible yeah. and do what we want, you know, what we need to do during the day. But when you know you're hungry and, yeah. you know, lunch isn't for a couple of hours, yeah. Yeah, that little snack can pull you through. And, you know, like you said, families are busy yes. in the mornings. They're, they're running around doing the best that they can. And if we can help our families then that helps the kids. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, how many children go to Duncan J School? We're up to almost 390 wow. now. Yes, wow. Wow. growing. Is, you know, and when you talk about your atrium too, that is a beautiful, beautiful Gorgeous. area there. You know, you've got the, the pond at the front with the goldfish yep. in it. Yep. That's a, such a welcoming environment for a school too. Yeah, it really is. Now you have a turkey dinner too. You're gonna feed all these children. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I've been hearing about this turkey dinner since I got there and we haven't been able to run it for the last couple of years with COVID. So our school council has been working so hard getting ready for this. So it's December 7th at the school and we're gonna be feeding almost 400 or more than 400 because we also feed our staff. And um, it is done through the generosity as well of we have Smith Falls High School, Chef Burns. Yes. He's got a lot of cooking to do at the, at the high school. And of course, the vol number of volunteers that it takes to be able to serve a meal of that size to kids. It also takes a lot of turkey and a lot of food. So we rely upon the generosity again of our community to be able to serve this food to our kids. A reason why I feel this is so important is for some kids, sitting down to a meal of that nature with turkey and dressing and potatoes and carrots all together, that may be an opportunity that's rare. So to be able to sit down together with all of your friends is a, is a real gift that we can give our kids. It really is a Christmas festivity. Yeah, and we are a family. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna sit down together as a school family and have a meal together. And I just think that's wonderful. Uh, that's but amazing. it is costly. And um, we would welcome anybody who is interested in, in helping. I think you know it's some ridiculous amount of potatoes that we need. And another ridiculous amount of bread that we need to be able to feed everybody. Well, and it's, uh, I think we, we were talking about before we started taping, that's like two weddings. Absolutely. Yeah, 400, absolutely. 400 plus. That's like trying to organize for two, yeah. two weddings. And wow. all of our school council and all of our parents and volunteers, they serve it all out to the kids. Absolutely. It's, it's such a wonderful, wonderful event too because then the children get to meet everybody too or yeah. that's so-and-so's grandmother or that's so-and-so's dad, you know. It's just really, really a great, great experience for the children too. So absolutely. Um, you need donations. Where do Me they too. drop them off? I, I mean, you, you, you'll take monetary don donations as well? Absolutely. So they can call the school 
you know, at 613-283-1367. Reach out to me through email, nancy.holman at ucdsb.on.ca. Pop into the school, meet me at the door. Myself or one of the staff would be happy to connect with any families who would like to help and support any of our nutrition programs or to support our turkey dinner. Mm -hmm.